and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing all of my completed pages from July 2020. Um, it's quite a few, at least by my standards. I think I've done maybe something like 18 to 20, which is, I don't usually do that many, but some of them are just like mandalas, so nice and quick. But yeah, let's get started. I'll get rid of these. We'll start with the Belba family one, I think as that is nice and easy and it's handy so this one i got i've not it's a recent purchase i only got this at the beginning of july in fact i've got this in a book haul i'll link it at the top here um if you want to check out when i bought this and also what i bought with it but this is the first picture i've done i mean it's if you're not familiar with the belba family books most of them are like color by numbers and these ones you just color in the little blocks and you know you get a little little picture nice and easy quite relaxing I do go a little bit cross-eyed with all the numbers in so much close proximity especially with things like 15s and 16s but you know it's still quite easy to relax to I just don't do them for long now I learned my lesson quite quickly that it made me cross-eyed so this one I've actually got two of the same picture uh, I'll put them this way I think because when I first got this book, there are two methods to doing these books, block or cross stitch. Actually, there's another way you can do it with circles as well. But this one I've done block or cross stitch because I couldn't make up my mind what I wanted to do. So I photocopied the page and I did both. And I decided, as you'll see in the rest of the book, that I prefer the block. But yeah, that's my unicorn page. And then I've done my banana parrot. And then last but not least, I like this next one, my tiger. He's called Sweet Tiger. I think these are like strawberries and macaroons and stuff floating in the background. But yeah, he's a really cute little tiger. I like him. So that's three, I guess four, if you include the fact that I've done two of him from this book. Okay, so I'm gonna start now with this one. This is a one that I've printed out from the Jade Summer, I think like the greatest hits book. I'll, I'll put links to all the books that I've um, colored from in the description as well, so you can check them out. But this was my little gingerbread man. It's a, a their mandalas, I think. Christmas mandalas is the main book it's from. And I just, obviously I just cut it plain there, alcohol markers, and I've used glitter gel on the, you know, the borders and the highlights just because it's Christmas and it's got to have glitter at Christmas uh, yeah so that was one that I did for Christmas and then I did another Christmas mandala this one was from the Sun Life uh, they have like another compilation book to sort of test it out I think there's 40 different images in there but this one was from the Christmas mandalas again I got it on PDF uh, no glitter on this one I don't know what was wrong with me it must be because it was color by numbers that I felt that I should do just do it as they said so yeah that's a simple little Christmas mandala and then another one from the same compilation book by Sun Life Drawing so this is from Christmas Animal Quest color by numbers quite like these I'm, I find these um, you know the Belba family one with the squares and this one with the, like, the little hexagons I find them quite relaxing to just switch off and do a color by number but I like him, that's quite cute. Even if my blue was a little bit too dark, I think it was meant to be a bit paler, so it's a bit more like gray. And then I did a picture from this book. It's called Creative Christmas by Michael O'Mara. There isn't an illustrator for this, it's just, I think, stock art. But I did this one, Christmas bauble or Christmas ornament as you would say in the States obviously I've done it with glitter pen so this is all glitter gel pen and the border is glitter gel pen and then this one I've actually done in the inner border I've done in metallic gold and metallic green so plenty of shiny bling I'm not sure how much is being picked up by the camera but I can see a little bit of shine but it's quite blingy in person and I like these pictures in here because they've got the black background so yeah, I did that on the 2nd of July, very August, very ugh, very early for Christmas in July. And then I did this, I did this from Beautiful Colour by Numbers. 
and this was a obviously a Christmas fireside scene when I posted this to Instagram I um, I did make a comment about how much I like the back as well it's funny how like the alcohol markers bleed through and because there's no key lines I actually quite like how that's turned out but yeah that's my Christmas fireside scene from a colour by numbers book and this is why I've got through quite a few because I did for my colour by for Christmas I did quite a lot of colour by numbers so this one is from Colouring Heaven Christmas Collection of 2018 so one of their older books um, this isn't one of the su subscription ones this is from the collection so they have bigger ones now this was actually a really really old whip and Kate's Colouring Haven is did well it still is doing a whip in the wicks I'll try that again whipping the whips so a whip if you're not familiar with it is a work in progress this one I've been colouring I started this in about November 2018 I think it was and I've only just finished it but there's plenty of sparkle on there finally got around to doing it so most of this I've done alcohol marker for a bulk of her and the trees um, then I've used pencil over the top I think I used my marker raffines for that because I tend to use the, those pencils for over markers um, then I have used glitter glue for the wings I, I'm not sure if I like the effect of the wings because I did I did the wings before I did the background and the snow which I you can see is also sparkly I think um, I used Mod Podge glitter for this so first time I've ever used Mod Podge glitter I was gonna use it just on the snow I was like oh wow that's so cool so I just put it on the whole background in the end but if I'd have known I was doing that I probably would have done her wings a bit differently as it is I I kind of did the um, glitter glue in strokes as opposed to solid because I had the pencil work where I've done the strokes as well so she has a, a ton of glitter on her between the glitter glue and then we've got the glitter background and then finally I've used this um, sparkly washi tape I guess what it is border tape that I bought I, for if you're in the UK I bought this in a place called Poundland which just you know is a budget Bit like Dollar Tree or whatever um, yeah just to finish it off and it also worked out quite well because this is a weird picture in that you see this tree like the tree just stopped here um, so this was a good way of camouflaging the fact that some of the illustration just stopped same as this little branch here it kind of stopped there so the border covered up the fact that the illustrations just didn't go out to the edge of the page yeah I really like that in the end I even tried this is a bit of high pro for me I tried to do a little bit of um, yellowy glow from the ball which also has Mod Podge on it but I don't usually bother too much with light sources I'll do a bit of shading where I think it might be darker under her hair or whatever but I don't tend to do light sources but I was brave teensy little bit of yellow there as if the, glow, the uh, ball is glowing but yeah long time whip out the way with so very happy to finish that one okay and moving on to intricate flowers by jade summer i just did one picture from this book this month um, this is almost like a mandala book because the images are quite symmetrical this one i did in well you can't really tell from the back because i have the black pages but i did do this in alcohol marker specifically I did this in my Copics now I don't have a lot of Copics but I've got a set of uh, pastel colors and I had a really clear idea of how I wanted these pictures to look and those were perfect for it so I thought I'll give it a go because I'm not sure how well it would get on with this is create space paper so an Amazon printed book not known for its high quality paper but I thought I'll give it a go to see if I can get them to blend uh, they did uh, it's fantastic I um, I've never really blended with markers before but this time I got to do it and it was oh, so good I need more Copics in my life I need to save up and get more Copics because it was fantastic so 
I've used the Copix for the flowers here. I've, I've used a small amount of pencil on the top, but hardly any. I've just done some purple flicks just to give a little bit of texture. And then again, with the pencil here, I did some flicks to sort of do it as, and then blended it out with a lighter green just to give it some texture in. But for all intents and purposes, these flowers are all just done with blending Copic markers. I used the same colours of Copic, so it's a lavender, I can't remember the exact shade of lavender, and the buttercup yellow for the smaller flowers. There's no pencil at all on them. And I think I did a little bit of pencil on the leaves though, just to make them a bit more interesting. And then just a marker background. Very simple, very quick. I, I just took me a couple of hours to do. I had a lot of fun. I really need to get, as I say, some more Copics because blending with them was a dream and of course it, it all just happened so quickly so much quicker than pencil but I really like how that turned out and as I say that was Intricate Flowers by Jade Summer right as I mentioned before this was a whipping the whips month with hashtag with Kate Kate's Colouring Haven I'll link her channel below so that you know which one I'm talking about uh, this was a, an old whip. I think I had started this maybe September or October 2019 and all I'd done before was I'd done her, I got, I'd based it in marker um, and that's pretty much all I'd done. I'd done her and the, and the luggage and I don't think I'd done much else. So I finished off the details there and just uh, base, I think sharpies for most of it cheapy markers certainly not my copics for this one and then i've used a little bit of pencil over the top to give her hair some texture and a bit of a blush bit of white posca or gel pen just to give some highlights and the, the rivets on the ship and i've gone over the edge of the smoke there just so that it's not a black key line what else did I do? A bit of gold gel pen on the buckles and the ticket. I thought of it as being like the golden ticket. And for the C, I used one of these, um, what are they called? The, not Pentel, Bic markers, the, the Bic markets. I think they're called Bic intensity now, aren't they? But they're metallic markers um, for this one. And it just gives they're kind of patchy they do give a sheen but they're also kind of patchy which is why I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with them but they're good for doing things like water because you want that sort of thing to be patchy because otherwise it just looks like your ship would be floating on a block so yeah and yeah I think that's all so a bit of ha that's from Hannah Lynn's the, the uh, Victorian Darlings one I think I've got it on PDF so uh, that's why I've, I've printed it out but yeah, nice to get another whip out of the way there. And then the next one I've done, I've done a quick one out of Art Animal Stencils. This is one colour relaxation. I never do them in one colour. I usually do them in two just because, uh, you know, just a bit more variation. And this is the one I've done this month. I've got my teal blue with the orange, which is a really nice colour combo. They're complementary colours. And yeah, it's still nice and simple, even though I've used two colours instead of their one colour. I really like how that one turned out. And they're nice and easy. I do these when I want to chill out. Done a few in there. But yeah, so one colour art relaxation. Next we have Relax and Colour Inverted Mandala. So this is another Sun Life drawing book. My first mandala, real mandala book that I've added to my collection that I've got last summer and if you don't know if you've not seen my that in my coloring book collection either my coloring book collection or I'm doing a bunch of videos at the moment of every picture I've ever colored I'll link both of them in the description below but one of them I mentioned how I use this book to use up my gel pens that I don't usually use you know I'm I burn through the glitter gel pens like nobody's business but the things like these ones which is like the neons I hardly touch so that's what I saved this book for and I really like this one it's nice and bright and cheerful it's just two tones I tend to keep my mandalas quite simple so it's just green and neon pink that's that one 
Okay, and next we have this book. Um, this is called Circle Mulbog. I think that's how you say it. It's Danish. Basically, stands for Circle Coloring Book. I got this in a in a different coloring book haul that I've just posted, so I'll link up to that. Um, but yeah, this is basically a quirkle book. If you're familiar with the quirkle style, so you colour in the circles, um, and it's a colour by number ish, but you choose your own colours. You just pick like five colours from light to dark. So I did this one. As I say, I've only just got this book, so it was mostly because I couldn't identify what the picture was. Quite often you can look at them, you can tell like that's the cat from the cover, but I couldn't tell what he was and it turns out he was a raccoon. So yeah, he is quite cute. I'm not sure if I like the Quirkle style. This is the first picture I've ever done, but this paper, the paper is really good, but it's really absorbent. I did this with alcohol markers and I look at the streaking on that. It's just because I could feel it sucking the ink out of my pen as fast as I was putting it down. So it did dry very quickly and made it quite patchy. So I'm not sure whether i just not a fan of it because of that, because I'm a bit funny about streaks, or whether I just don't like the style. So I'll try another picture in here this month, but I'll probably try it in something like pencil. But yeah, that's my raccoon from Circle on my Bog. And then last of this sort of style my mandalas this is from 50 nighttime mandalas by camellia angela cova which most people will have heard her books well heard of her she does a number of books not just mandala ones but this is the one i did this month i did a nice summery sunshine one um simple palette again because i do like to keep my mandala simple so i've got red dark orange sort of a yellowy orange and that's it bar from leaving a little bit of white just around the face to make it stand out a bit but yeah i do like this book a lot i don't it's the black backgrounds i think that does it for me but i do like a nice mandala and i do like this book so that's what i've done from this that this month so next i will do my secret garden by johanna bassford now this was if you're wondering about the cover, it's because I made such a dirty mess out of it. And this is what the back cover looks like. And you can see it's all just covered in, in stuff. But the front was even worse. So I had to colour it in to camouflage. Eventually I'll get around and colour in the back as well. But yeah, that's why the front cover is coloured in. But basically I had a very, very long term whip in here. I started this in... Oh, I think it was Ju June or July 2018 because there was a colour challenge in one of the Facebook groups I was in and it was basically a monotone. So it was, it was supposed to be like black and white, well, shades of grey, plus one other colour. So I chose orange. And yeah, I made a mistake in that thinking that the, the challenge lasted a month and it wasn't, it lasted two weeks. So it got to the end of the two weeks, I was half done. And I was just like, oh, okay that's why it stayed remained uncolored unfinished for the next two years but whipping the whips this is what i completed i actually really like it it's um i'll, I'll have to try this again with this such limited palette because it's really yeah it's a nice alternative way to do flowers for anybody who complains about being bored coloring leaves green and flowers and whatever try try a challenge like this where you're limited to uh, you know mostly black and white and it forces you to think outside the box so yeah that's my one from Johanna Basford in Secret Garden and we'll do my Disney books so I've done one from this this is a new book again from one of the earlier hauls that I had at the beginning of July so this is Esmeralda from The Hunchback of Notre Dame. I just, as soon as I saw this picture, I wanted to do it because of the stained glass window. It was quite a bit of a challenge for me really, because I'm not very good at doing skin tones at the best times. Like, you know, just any skin tones. And this is, obviously I think she's, um, um, I'm not sure, is she, is she a gypsy in it? I think so. But anyway, I know she's slightly tan, more tan skin tone 
than I'm used to doing, a bit darker, and I didn't want to stuff it up, but I think I've got to work, uh, you know, I, she's all right, I think she's all right. And so I've done her in, so I based her in alcohol markers, her and her robe, flappy thing. I also did go in alcohol markers. And then I just went over the top in pencil. I think, what did I use? I can't even remember what I used. I think I used my Black Widows for those. And yeah, and then I did the, the stained glass window. So basically I did that in, I'm not sure if this is gonna show up, but I did this in the Uniball glitter gel pens. So it's really shiny. Love how it turns out. And it's a, like a, a bright contrast to her because obviously I've done her all in pencil but I've done the window a stained glass shiny so I really like how that turned out really like how that turned out really pleased with how her skin turned out because I didn't make a complete hash of it uh, yeah so that's my Disney so that's from the mini block girl power I've done a flip through of that one if you're interested in seeing this book I'll link that up the top and then last but not least one more disney color so this is from the disney princess coloring book i don't think you can buy this online anywhere i bought this at walt disney world i think it's only available in the parks and um, basically it's a book of princesses now this is the one i've done this was another one that was a really really long term whip and basically i love the images in here but the paper i found to be a complete nightmare and I, for the longest time, I thought it must be me because nobody else was complaining about the paper who I'd seen with this book. But it turned out it was just the pencils. I tried a variety of different pencils. These ones I started with Luminance because they're really waxy. That didn't work. I tried the book and um, the roof. I thought I'd go a bit harder. So I tried those in the Black Widow. That wasn't too bad because it was a small area. But I soon learned the error of my ways as soon as I tried to do the roof because it was bigger. And basically all that happens is you put the pencil down and just like it literally you can feel the it sliding around like you anytime you move your pencil you're just pushing the wax around so it just sits on top so then I did these woods and the bricks I did these in my marker of fiends because I mean they're the cheaper brand of pencil but they're really quite hard a bit harder and they worked a bit better and this is where it started to become less painful and then finally I tried I've got a few open stock um, polychromos Faber Castell polychromos which are a nice hard pencil and these were the ones that actually went down the easiest so any if I do any future pictures in here with pencil I will probably use something like polychromos because they did go down the easiest but I think probably what I'll do in future is just photocopy this page and, and save myself the pain. But yeah, anyway, enough of my wibbling. Uh, those are all the different pencils I used. The sky and the ground, I, I was so over this picture by this point, I just wanted it done as quickly as possible. So I did this in pastel, you know, chalk pastels. And yeah, and that's it. Oh, I used a little bit of um, gold gel pen just on the, you know, on the flagpole and on the brackets for the door but that's it yeah so that's her finally done I, as I say I this has been a long time in the you know as a whip I think I started this around November 2018 finally got it finished whipped that whip and that's all for this month not as I say by my standards that's quite a lot of pictures so fingers crossed especially as I just started my channel this month as well so I've been quite busy doing videos who knew that they could take up so much time but there you go um, if you like this video then I appreciate a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't and if you hit the little bell then you'll get a notification anytime I upload new videos thanks so much for watching I hope you have a great day See you again next month, hopefully, for August pictures, and bye for now. Bye!